Hi folks, here's the second video in a small series about this little uh, steam boiler that I'm making. I'm just about to give it its hydraulic test, which is uh, a water pressure test. This isn't the first time I've done this. Um, unfortunately, um, the boiler was uh, had a small leak, which the the previous air test, which you saw in the first video, or may have seen in the first video, did not reveal. So I had to take it back to the bench and uh, re-silver solder one of the joins. It's one of the joins where the f fire tube joins the boiler, the, the end plate. So for this hydraulic test, this is fundamentally based on um, a, a video by Keith Appleton. I've put a link in the description. He goes through the steps of how to do the hydraulic test. But um, what you'll see there is the boiler standing on my pressure testing rig. Um, you'll see that the boiler comes, the, the water goes into the boiler via, from the margarine tub reservoir at the bottom, via that little hand pipe in the first step there, and then up through a globe valve, and then through a check valve, which has a ball bearing in it, and into the boiler. I put a globe valve in, valve in the line because um, the first time I used the check valve, um, there was a little bit of water dripping back out of that into the reservoir. And of course, if you're losing pressure through a valve, you're not in a position to really test the integrity of the boiler. So the globe valve, and also I put a new nitrile ball into the, the check valve instead of the stainless steel one that was in it. So between the two of them, they should prevent any water from flowing back. Um, You'll also see that all the, the other bushes for all the various attachments for the boiler are uh, closed with blanking plugs. Apart from one on the top, you'll see at the left hand side there, um, that's obviously to let the air out while I fill it with water and then when it's full to the brim, I'll put another blanking plug in there. The pressure gauge is that black thing at the back. Uh, unfortunately, the way that when I tightened it, the, the dial ended up facing downwards. Um, I could have shimmed it with uh, copper washers and so on to make it face in a more convenient direction, but what I'll do instead is I've got a square of mirror tile, so I'll just set the mirror behind the thing so I can look at the pressure gauge in the mirror and read it back to front, as it were. shouldn't be too difficult. So, um, this time, I'm hoping that the boiler is intact, but you just never know, because it's possible that when I was re-silver soldering it, it is possible that even though the, the, the repair join looks okay, it's possible that something else opened up. Sometimes this can happen. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm going to switch off now and um, I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to do is to take the boiler slowly up to about 80 PSI, very slowly, and then let it sit there for 15 minutes or so. And then if that's okay, I'll take it up to 90 and then let it sit there for about half an hour, if it will hold 90 at half an hour. Um, I'll assume that uh, the boiler is sorted. The reason it's 90 PSI is because the working pressure of this boiler is 45 PSI, and that's determined by the safety valve that I have for it. It will blow off at, uh, sorry, yeah, 45, 45 PSI is the working pressure. That's the pressure that the valve blows off at, and... The, uh, so when you test a boiler like this, you're supposed to test it to twice working pressure. So I'll switch off now and get going and I'll come back to you later. Okay, well, I brought this in the house because it's quite sunny outside and um, I am advised that uh, uh, water has got so little elasticity in it that if you even leave a sealed system like this outside in bright sunlight, it can cause it to pop. So I have... Um, Try to avoid that scenario. So here it is. It actually seems to be a success. It's been sitting there at 90 PSI for quite a long time now. I'd say about an hour and a half on and off. Um, there is a slight creep down of the, the, the needle on the pressure gauge, or there was, which I think really was due to um, tiny amounts of seepage from a couple of the um, blanking plugs and uh, one of the points where the, the piping joins the globe valve, not from the boiler itself. So I've tightened these things up. The seepage is minimal now um, from these, if, if at all, and there is no sign of any leakage on the boiler whatsoever. So I think I can safely say it is done. I'm very happy about that. It's been quite a learning curve. With incredible support from the guys on a couple of forums that I'm a member of. You know who you are. Thank you very much. So, 
The next stage, I believe, is to water test it again at 1.5 times working pressure with all of the fittings in situ. So I'll be back with another video when I get to that point.